if you're here, you need money, and I am here to save you. Alright, if this is your first time duplicating cars, welcome to the glitching community. This car duplication glitch is pretty straightforward. You can do it solo, so you don't need a friend just chilling in your garage or nothing. And it only takes about five minutes per car. All you need to do to get the ball rolling is own a bunker. Just stock is fine. You don't need any upgrades. And also a facility. No upgrades are needed for that as well. Any bunker or facility will work for the glitch, but the best ones to own are the farmhouse bunker and the Ron Alternatives facility. So let's go into Maze Bank for closures here. The best two to own are this one here and the facility here. The reason for that is because they're right next to each other, and when you do the glitch, you're going to end up spawning at this facility right here. Um, so they're all really close to each other, these three, and um, I hope you do the glitch a lot faster. But uh, if you don't want to fork up the money, any facility will work. If you had this one or the bunker over here, it doesn't matter. Any facility or bunker works just to get the glitch done the quickest. Using these two will be the best. Now, if you got those ready, the last thing you need is a mobile operations center with a personal vehicle storage in Bay 3. So if you head over to War Stock, we'll go to the mobile operations center. And as you can see, Bay 3 personal vehicle storage. Now you won't be able to get that if in Bay 2 you have the uh, weapon and vehicle workshop, so make sure you don't have that. My Bay 2 is uh, a weapons workshop, but if you got that personal vehicle storage, that's everything that you need to run the glitch, just those three things. Now you're going to want to be in an invite-only lobby that is in a different targeting mode than what your friends play on. Most people play on assisted aim, so I typically swap over to free aim. Now let's check Let's check it out right here. We go to our controls. You can see right there, I am on assisted aim, and that's what my friends are playing on, so I gotta change that. You can't actually change that in a public session, so what you have to do is you're gonna have to leave GT Online and go to a, a single player session. All right, now we're just gonna pause our game. You scroll over to the settings tab, click on controls, and then right here, uh, targeting mode is the second option, so I'm going to switch that over to free aim. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back to the online tab and start up an invite-only session. Alright, now that we're in our session, I'm going to pull up the internet. I'm going to go to Legendary Motorsport, sort by price, and the LGs right here that are free, we're going to order a bunch of these. Uh, whatever color doesn't matter, you order them and you're gonna have them sent to your facility. So my facility's already full, I got two elegies in there, so that's done for me. Now after you got some elegies in your facility, all you want to do is take whatever car you want to duplicate, you're gonna drive it to your bunker, and then drive it into the back of your MOC. So I'm gonna be duplicating the ISSI, it's the best car for duplicating, if you didn't already know that. Um, so that's the one that I'm duplicating. It's already in the back of my MOC. So here's my car. All you're going to do is hop in it and then drive it out of your MOC. Alright, now we're going to pull up and to the right here. Just like this. So, I flipped over the cart, but you're basically going to want your trunk to be like a foot of gap from that concrete slab that's right over there. And you want your driver's side door to be lined up pretty well with the caddies if you own the caddies. Um, you don't have to own them, they just help you to line yourself up. And then you're going to hop out of your car, and we'll leave it there, and head outside. Now you're going to want to head over to your facility, but you can't use a personal vehicle to get there, otherwise the vehicle that we just left in the bunker will go back into its storage space inside the MOC. So I'm going to call up a CEO vehicle. If you don't have any CEO vehicles, you can just go over to the road and steal a car. But I have a buzzard, and that's going to help me get over to my facility really fast, so I'm going to use that. Once you get to your facility, you're just going to walk inside.
once you're inside your facility, you're just going to want to get to your vending machine. The vending machine is actually downstairs, so you have to run all the way down this hallway past the secretary's desk. And you can take a right through a door. It's the quickest way to get to the vending machine. Alright, now that we're at the vending machine, for some of you this is going to be the hardest part. But once you get it down, it's actually really simple. All we're going to do, and I'll, I'll show you what the animation looks like real quick. When you drink a soda, your character pushes the button, picks up the can, and then drinks it in one gulp. And watch your character's head. See how it went back like that? So when your head goes back, you're going to want to start a job on the map. So to get the jobs to show up on the map, you got to go to your hide options. And you get you got three categories. Make sure that everything is set to show. And then when you go to the map, you'll notice you got all these blue markers all over the place. Um, and when you hover over them for a second, you see at the bottom of the screen it says that you can start the job. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the pause button. And then I'm going to press right on the D-pad to drink a soda. And then I let go of the pause button. I'm going to go to my map. And I'm going to scroll to the tip top of the map. The reason that I scroll to the top is because now I can see my character off to the side here so I can wait until I see my head go back. So I'm going to use this job right here um, and when my character's head goes back I'm going to press X to start it and then I'll get a black screen and I just press A on the black screen. So here we go. I'm holding pause, drink a soda, let go of pause, map, go to the top so I can see myself, wait for my head to go back and X, A. Now if you got the timing right, your minimap will disappear and it's going to say loading in the bottom right corner, but nothing will actually happen. If you got the timing wrong, then it is actually going to take you into that job. And if that happens, you will have to go back to your bunker and repark your car uh, in, the, in the right place. But I got it. It's really not that hard. You just press X basically when your head gets all the way back and you'll have it down. But after that, we're just going to head back over here towards the elevator platform and we're gonna go up and get into one of those stock elegies that we ordered. You can actually see I've already duplicated a couple cars from just looking around. But once we get to the elegy we're gonna hop in the driver's seat. After you get into the driver's seat do not touch the joysticks. So I'm facing my wall right now. I'm just gonna keep facing my wall. What you gotta do now is go to your friends list, find someone else that's playing Grand Theft Auto, uh, click on their name and hit join game. All right, after you click join game, you're gonna hold the gas button down. I'm holding the gas right now. I'm gonna get three alert screens. I'm going to accept the first one, decline the second one, and then accept the third one. So here we go. Accept. Right now, it's telling me that this this friend is in a different targeting mode. Remember, that's because I switched to free aim. So now I'm declining. I'm going to wait. And then accept the third one. And then if you held the gas throughout the whole time and you weren't touching the joystick, it'll kick you out of your car, and then it'll kick you outside. Now it spawns you, normally it spawns you at, a, there's a facility right here that it spawns you at, even though the facility I own is over here. So um, that's good. I'm going to call in my buzzard again. If you don't have any CEO vehicles, you can just steal a car again. And we're just going to head back to the bunker. All right, now that we're inside the bunker, you're just gonna hop back to that car that you parked here at the start and drive it into the back of your MOC. All right, you'll get this black screen right here. You just press A on that black screen. And after that, the dupe glitch is done. So now the car that is in your MOC right now is the dupe and the original car is actually going to be back at the facility. So I'm gonna drive this back out and we'll drive over to the facility to show you that it did actually dupe. 
Now, the reason that the ISSI is the best car for duplicating is because on duplicate cars, you actually only get paid for the upgrades on the vehicles. You don't get paid for the base vehicle price. So you might think that a $3.5 million supercar is the best car to dupe, but in reality, when you duplicate it and go to sell it, it's only going to sell for like $200,000. But the ISSI, or other Arena War vehicles, and the Benny's vehicles, the upgrades for them are really expensive. And since you get the money for the upgrades on the car, it's best to use Benny's vehicles and Arena War vehicles. And the two best cars are the LG Retro Custom for Benny's and the ISSI Classic for uh, the Arena Workshop. So we're going to head back over to the facility now. All right, we're back in the facility, so let's head up this way. And yep, you can already see. There was two allergies over there, and now one of them is the Issy Classic. So, um, if you don't have the money to run this dupe, if you can't afford a facility and a bunker and an MOC and an Issy or an allergy to dupe, um, there's another glitch that I posted on my channel a few days ago, and all you need to do that glitch is own an arcade. And the arcade properties are pretty cheap. I mean, you can get one for like a million. Um, and that glitch is to duplicate gold inside the vault. And you can actually replay the finale without having to do any of the setups. So you might want to check that out if you only have like a million dollars that you can spare. But if you can afford to own a facility and a bunker and get a good car for duping, you can make a lot of money with this glitch. So until next time, uh, I'm Fishy. See you guys out.